the creative nature of all of these large language models fascinates human a lot it fascinates them because it looks so eerily similar to human creativity that is why people use these llms to write stories and novels for various reasons including experimentation writing assistant ideas generation world building collaboration and simply for a role playing or simply for entertainment that's about it that is why whenever a new model is released which promises a long context everyone jumps to that model because these llms are designed to handle and process longer input sequences typically ranging from 1000 to 10000 tokens these models maintain context track storylines and generate coherent text across extended sequences unlike traditional llms with limited context windows long context llms enable novel writing story continuation and content expansion they can produce consistent relevant and engaging content with the narrative making them ideal for generating entire novels or long form content that is why whenever a new open source llm comes into being everyone tries to use them for novel writing or long context writing i also have covered lot of llms on the channel open source one especially where we have seen that there are few llms which are really good at story writing but there are uh, big names which really struggle when it comes to long context even if the long context is written on their model card the truth of the matter is that still the best of the breed models which are long context which can write coherent stories and novels are the api based which includes gpt 4o from openai and tropix cloud google's gemini and few more in this video i'm going to introduce you to this open source tool called as novel writer which is just a bunch of python scripts which this creator has put together in order to use these closed source api based models to write a novel you can either use open ai ones you can use mistral you can use um anthropic cloud and then i think there are a couple more options there it is just uh, i think a labor of love project so don't expect too much uh, you know high fi output but still i think it is good enough if you are looking to write a short novel or a short story just as a fun before i show you the installation let me give a huge shout out to mast compute who are sponsoring the vm and gpu for this video if you are looking to rent a gpu on affordable prices i will drop the link to their website in video's description plus i am also going to give you a coupon code of 50% discount on a range of gpus This is a VM I'm using Ubuntu 22.04, and this is my GPU NVIDIA RTX A6000 with 48 GB of VRAM, courtesy Mast Compute. As we will be using API-based models, so you don't really need a GPU for this video if you intend to follow along. Let me clear the screen. First up, let me create a virtual environment because I will be keeping everything separate in that environment. Let's wait for it to get created. should not take too long and the virtual environment is created let me now git clone the repo of this novel writer and then we will cd into it that is also done next step let's install all the requirements through pip and let me put in the command for it so i'm just simply using this pip install it is going to install lot of api based stuff here so let's wait for it to finish Okay, so it says that um, there's a dependency error with this one. So in that case, all we need to do is to just go into that requirement, and then instead of using this version, all I'm just going to do, I'm going to remove the version from here. It is just going to use the latest one. I normally don't put the versions. I think that's not a good practice of doing that. So let's try it out now. So this time it has run fine. Let's wait for it to finish installing everything. Okay, so let it's everything is installed. Let me clear the screen. 
and now let's open it in the vs code editor i'm just doing code dot and it is going to open the vs code editor for us so the whole project is opened here there are two files which we need to change here one is writers.py this last one and the settings.py let's have a look at writers.py this is where we would need to put in our api key so i think i don't know which uh, client this is using but let's uh, ignore it for now you if you want to use mistral use mistral if you want to use llama cpp you can use that one it is on the local one uh, i have tried it doesn't really produce good results so i'm not going to use that there's a gemini 1.5 writer and then this is 1.4 uh, pro latest by the way and then i'm just showing you there are few others there is a gemini 10 writer uh, this is again so i'm just going to use this gemini 10 writer here so in order to use it all you need to do is to put your key here so um, for your key it's a free key which you can get from just google google gemini or just search for aistudio.google.com log in with your google account and grab your free key so i have saved my key there now if you go to settings.py the next file if you scroll down this is a whole prompt um, this guy is using for novel writing so you see it is he is using gemini 10 writer here if you are going with mistral or any other just replace this line with the function from that writer.py so because i already have put in my key here so i'm not going to change it okay so i already have saved it everything looks good now let's go back to our terminal and try to run it and in order to run it all you need to do is to run this command python3 outline.py it is going to start building the outline with you I would highly recommend don't use OpenAI's model for it because this could get very expensive very soon. Okay, so let me run this one now. So as soon as you run it, it is going to ask that, okay, because you, and you can write multiple novels. So if you want to load an existing novel, just put a number because I haven't uh, wrote anything, written anything yet. So I'm just going to uh, press enter here. And what do you want the novel to be about? I'll just say, maybe let's go with a fiction novel so for the fiction novel i am just going to ask it this so i am saying write a historical fiction novel about george peabody a 19th century financier and philanthropist as he navigates a mysterious conspiracy threatening his empire set in baltimore and london explore themes of power loyalty and redemption uncover dark secrets and unexpected alliances in Peabody's quest to protect his legacy. Now, uh, I don't know if you are aware of George Peabody or not. He is the um, sort of the founder of the current modern day JP Morgan, uh, which is one of the, I would say, really awesome, great company uh, in terms of finance. But anyway, so let's see what it says here. It says, how should the novel be written? Okay, so for that, I will say, write in a third person narrative voice with a mix of descriptive prose and dialogue driven scenes, incorporate historical details and figures from the 19th century, blending fact and fiction, seamlessly adopt a literary fiction style, emphasizing character depth and atmosp atmospheric settings. Let's see. Okay, <laughs> and it failed. Okay, I'm not sure why. Okay, okay, I know why. It says my API key is not valid. So the reason being, I think maybe um, I have run out of my credit. So let me refresh my key and then I will uh, put in the key and resume again. And you can see that now it is writing. I have just refreshed my key and updated it. And now it is telling me that it is writing the synopsis. It is writing um, the list of characters. And you see it has given it number one here. Let's wait for it to come back. And there you go. You can see that it has uh, started with some of the characters. How good is that? And then Reverend, some Isabella Stewart, George Peabody. And it is even going, uh, telling us about the physique of the characters, Emilia, personality. And then it is going on and on and on. There are a lot of characters for the whole model. Amazing stuff. 
so really good stuff uh, but again beware that it is going to cost you a lot if you are writing the full novel so make sure that you are aware of it uh, even if you are using google's api there are limits on it so i think that you won't be able to get very far even if you are using google's one because there are some limits and you are going to exhaust them fairly soon but all in all really good tool if you are really uh, into this and want to write i think a great tool all open source all free i would really wish that it would work with some olama um, i will try to see if i could get it working with open as compatible one but i think that is going to take a bit of a time if we could have some out of the box sort of support with olama that would be awesome but anyway other than that i think really good stuff uh, pretty you know hats off to the people who are just putting in effort creating all of these open source tools so really great stuff from this curve uh, i don't know what the name is but anyway so that's it guys i hope that you enjoyed it let me know what you think about this tool um, i already have covered a lot of other models for story writing just i did it last week so if you're interested have a look there if you like the content please consider subscribing to the channel if you're already subscribed please share it among your network as it helps a lot thanks for watching